There are only two problems here to be solved, number 22 and number 34. Number 22 is about drawing cards. Drawing cards, a card is drawn at random from a deck of cards. Then the card is replaced and, and the deck is thoroughly shuffled. This problem is repeated, this process is repeated two more times. So, but if that question is, what's the probability that all the, the all three cards are aces? But B is, what's the probability that at least one of the cards is an ace? The other question is, it's about balls in an urn. An urn contains 10 red balls and 20 green balls. If four balls are drawn one at a time without replacement, what's the probability that the sequence of colors will be red, green, green, and then red? That's it. And we go on to solve it. So the first question was about cards. There is something to do with a deck of cards. In one deck, there are 52 cards. That is a standard deck. And amongst those 52 cards, there are four aces. Now, that means four out of 52 are aces. The probability, therefore, of getting an ace is five out of 52. That is four over 52. While the probability of not getting an ace is 48 out of 52. Because the card is replaced, that is you pick it and then you return it. You shuffle again and then you pick and return. This is done three times. Meaning at every opportunity of picking, there is equal opportunity of picking an ace. And equal, op uh, and uh, then uh, also the chance of missing stays the same so the chance first chance you could get it the other chance you could also get it and the third chance you could also get it all those chances are the same now usually in probability the first thing we do is to represent the whole statement in a tree diagram so we have 52 cards here if we pick an ace, this is the probability, 4 over, five, over 52. If we don't pick it, it means we follow this route of missing. So we, the first chance is this, we either pick it or don't pick it. The, if we picked it, then we go to the second chance. Here we picked it. There is also a possibility of not picking it after replacing, of course of picking it or not picking it and then picking or not picking picking not picking and that's the way it goes so this is root a root b root c and then we have this one here root d and then it goes all the way down to where we didn't pick it from stage one all the way to not picking it so going to the first question the first question is, what's the probability that at every chance of picking, A's were picked? And that means we follow this first route, which is 4 over 52, 4 over 52, 4 over 52. And in probability, that means a product of all the chances, which is 4 over 52, 4 over 52, 4 over 52 which brings about this particular result. Now, there is the second part of that question, which is, what's the probability that at least one card out of those drawn was an ace? Meaning, there is, uh, the, at every chance, one, there was at least one of them. Either there was one or two, or all of them were ace, but at least there was nothing like uh, it wasn't picked. And there are still just but three chances. So, 
it should not be less than one, i.e. it could be one, it could be two, it could be three of the cards drawn that were aces. This means that, the f that following all the routes marked A all the way to H, A to G qualify, and that you should be able to see here. If we pick the first route, all the threes are A's. We pick the second route, the first two are A's, but then we miss the third. We pick the other route, we, we got it here, we didn't get it here, and then we get it here. Or, we get it here, we don't get it here, we don't get it here. Or, we miss it, and then we get it, and we get it. Or, we miss it, we get it, we miss it. Or, we miss it, we miss it, but then we get it. But, we don't pick this last route. We miss, miss, miss. No, we did not miss all the three times. At least we got one. So that means we will pick all those routes up to G. And that is what brings about uh, this particular uh, uh, probability here. This one, root A plus this root B plus root C all the way. And that is what brings about this result. The accuracy of that can be verified. The accuracy of this mathematical uh, solution, but this is the this is the formula generally. If we go to the other equation, an urn consists of ten red balls, twenty green balls. That means a total of thirty balls. Then this is the problem: four balls are drawn, one at a time, without replacement. Meaning every time we pick, we are not returning it into the the urn. So. Uh, the problem is, what's the probability that the balls were, that four balls were drawn in the order of red, green, green, red. As a, as a rule, we start by representing this problem in a diagram. And this is the diagram. We have 30 balls and we are picking from that. So. We only have two choices. Either we pick a red one or we pick a green one. If we pick a red one, the second chance, we have four chances. The second chance, we could still pick a red or we could still pick green. We could pick red or we pick green. So, uh, in this case, our issue is we want to pick red and then we pick green and then we pick green and then we pick red. So, what's the root? The root is simple. It's here. We pick a red. Now we are one ball less out of 30. Then we pick green. So when we pick red, that is 10 out of 30. That is a third. Then we go to green. Remember now we have uh, 29 balls because one red one has been picked. We only have nine balls left. So possibility of picking a green. Green has not been picked so far. So we have 20 out of a total number of balls, which is 29. The next one, we also happen to pick green. But so far, we have 28 balls left because we've picked one red and we picked one green. So we go ahead and must check the probability of picking another green out of what is left is 19. That is 19 out of 28. And then we pick red. We only had nine reds left. The total balls left are 20. Eight, uh, to a 29, a 27, because we've picked three. We've picked a red one, we've picked a green one, we've picked a green one. So we have 27 balls left. So the last one, we pick a red. So therefore, this is the root, and we call it root number G. So that is a third here, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. So that is what we uh, calculate here, and this becomes the result. And that's the end of that particular problem being solved. Otherwise, uh, thank you.